Hey everyone. First time kind of doing this. Anyway, um, I've been looking at this doctrine, this idea of original sin. I just want to read the definition to you there real quick. Original sin. I'll just Google this real quick. And uh, it says, original sin is an Augustine Christian doctrine that says that everyone is born sinful. This means that they are born without a built-in urge to do they are born with a built-in urge to do bad things and to disobey God. It is an important doctrine within the Roman Catholic Church. There. So that's the first little thing that came up. So I was like, I'm thinking about this uh, idea of original sin, and it's like, um, I think one simple question refutes the whole thing, and um, that would just be. Well, I guess maybe a couple questions. Were Adam and did Adam and Eve? have this original sin within them. <clears throat> and I think most people will honestly say no, because um, they use, like, what was it, Romans 5, because Adam's sin, sin entered into the world, it's like 517 or something. Um, they'll use that to say that, you know, because of Adam's sin, sin entered into the world. Well, <clears throat> so then before that, Adam probably wouldn't, they say, wouldn't have had orig this idea of original sin within them, this sin nature. Okay, so... I think the simple question is then, if they did not, Adam Eve did not have this um, sin nature, how were they tempted? In what way were they tempted? Okay, well, I think it's, uh, what, is it James or whatever? Which person when they was tempted? Uh, hold on a moment. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> yeah, James 1, I guess 1.12, Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life, which God has promised those who love him. Let no one say when he is tempted, I am being tempted by God, for God cannot be tempted with evil, and he himself tempts no one. But each person is tempted when he is lured and enticed by his own desire. Then desire, when it is conceived, gives birth to sin, and sin, when it is fully grown, brings forth death. Okay. So how were Adam and Eve tempted? Um, didn't Eve desire? She looked on it, saw it was good to eat. She desired it. She was lured and tempted by her own desire. Hmm. And Adam the same way, the desire to be with his wife probably, um, the desire to eat as well. <coughs> um, there's no difference. There's no distinction. How are we tempted? Oh, by our own. It says right here. Hold on one moment, love. By our own desires. It's the same way. So then how did how do we have a different nature as far as one um, with a tendency to sin as it, as as opposed to the what's the difference? Anyway, that's my question. Hold on a second. Okay, sorry about that. That's my question. Um if they were attempted the exact same way we are, then what exactly is the difference in our nature? simple question. I would really appreciate some answers on this that can try and support this idea of original sin in the face of this question. Um, thanks for watching. I think this should pretty much just blow up this idea of original sin. Um, yeah. And then you look at Christ. Christ was tempted. How, how was anyone tempted? By their desires. Okay, so according to James, each person's temper is lured and enticed by his own desires. So did Christ then, would you then say that Christ had this idea of original sin? Was No, people say that he didn't because he was born of a virgin, blah, blah, blah. It's, it's just the whole thing is just, it just seems like a, a, an idea made up to basically um, give us an excuse to continue in sin. So, anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Um, give me some feedback if you want. Appreciate it. Okay, bye.